right, ladies and gents, this is the last bit of filming I'm going to do for the day. Um, if you want to keep watching, a uh, tent bought from uh, One Tigress, 65 pound. Very excited about the design because that's just what I think a lot of us are, um, are looking for. Um, I'm uh, very bit disappointed. It's, it's it's not fit for purpose. There's some design flaws there that will get you wet every day of the week and twice Sunday and. If you want to see you know the quality control on it, ladies and gents, um, please just watch the video. But what I will do, it's easy. Uh, it's, much, it's easy to criticise and it is organise all design stuff. So um, I will be sending this back. I do want my money back. It was 65 quid. I'd have much rather paid 100 pound and have not to have covered the issues that uh, will be following on from this. So what I aim to do, um, and I'll contact this hands guy. Um, the left hand side of the tent as we look at it I'm quite happy to sew it up with more to put the peg out points correctly uh, the pull out point at the back uh, and literally see where it's mesh at the bottom uh, you know I, I will um, modify one side of this okay uh, and do everything that he, I think would need to do on the other side I'll do that for free I'm not that worried I'd like to see this uh, tent get sorted out um, there is no way you can attach your poles in there you just shove it up against the side I believe poles should be at the outside so um, just on this side then um, and I'll do it in different colours so you can see what I've done is uh, put a pole attachment point one at the middle where the stupid window is and another one at the bottom with a decent peg out point and uh, I'll just, I'm just i going to do some Eddie Mac mods on this uh, if he wants me to hang on and do that I'll just send it back if he just wants it sent back it's fair enough I'm no like tent officiado but if that's of value to him uh, I would like to see this thing actually come out be uh, fit for purpose ladies and gents I don't mean to be like robust but I can't put any uh, it's good material um, good design quality control shot the bits and just the thought for this um, it needs a lot of work on it yeah um, so yeah I'll, I'll just modify and do everything on the left hand side um, so and if, if that's any good yeah and I'll send it back to you and then you can have a look at it and see what you think I don't mean just because I've tinkered about with it it's going to be brilliant everybody's got their own view um but yeah but rather than just coming out and saying it's uh, like naff not fit for purpose because on this point there ladies and gents first time ever in history of uh tightwad I, I i would uh, want my money back on this uh but like i say let's just do that half of the tent uh, sort out some design flaws in it and then it's up to uh, mr hands i think his name's hands i can't um, remember why i think his name's hands but if that's any good to you i'll try and contact you and if you want me to hang fire and get that done for you, um, and I'll still send it back, you can either give me the money back or send me, you know, a modified or revised tent. Or, you know, if you need to contact me, we'll, you know, or send me... We'll just try and get this sorted, because it's just... Uh, don't really want to slag summer off without saying now you can make it better, because uh, that's what I do, ladies and gents. But I'll tell you what, Mr Baldrick likes it. <laughs> but I'm afraid even Mr Baldrick will get wet. <laughs> I have visions of this being like the Dutch Army tent, to be a perfect honest lady. But I'm going to stick this bit in. If you want to see what I'm on about, please keep going. Uh, I'll try and make sort of sense of it and not show me disappointment. Because uh, at this point, it's, you know, it doesn't matter what you pay for a tent, it's got to be fit for purpose, which is, uh, you know, to keep you dry and out of the elements. So, yeah, ladies and gents, uh, there you go, hands up to yourself, mate. I'm what if I one half. Send it back to you if you want, or otherwise, can I just have my money back, please? Because it's not really fit for what it's advertised for. So, uh, all right then, ladies and gents, so uh, I'll, I'll just keep you updated on, on what happens on this. All right, ladies and gents, just hold it once again. Uh, peg bag, six pegs, the standard pegs. Totally usable, very lightweight. A big mass of... Um, I think it's probably ridge line and uh, peg out points for if you was going to use it with the uh, trekking poles. But yeah, all perfectly ad adequate stuff. Uh, I like to just uh, put my own cords on stuff. But yeah, that's what it comes with. That's what you want to know with getting for your dosh. And there's a big old wedge there. Certainly not skimped on that. So that's, that's, that's good as that as well. Uh, ten pegs in the bag, yeah. All fits in there. No, no, no complaints about that. That's spot on. Yeah, load of line. Load of line. Right, ladies and gents, this is the old uh, tent from uh, One Tigress I got there. Uh, I'm not sure he's given it a name yet. I've only ever seen one little bit of film on it uh, on YouTube, but I did uh, pull the trigger on it. It was 65 quid. Um, 
wouldn't matter how much it sort of costs really, I'd have sort of gone to possibly about 100 because I love the design. Um, I think this is probably, I'm, I'm assessing this is going to be some sort of prototype and I know this hands guy, what he does do, he does listen to customer feedback and uh, and sort of change things. Um, as Mike said, it's probably um, a take on a DD1, but the DD1 has uh, vestibules either side. Um, I'm not sure they're necessary. Uh, but just, this is in its basic configuration. I've got a bridge line up. Um, initially, I found it quite difficult to get it tent shaped, and it's not quite perfect at the moment. Okay, here's the other side. Um, as you see, the back, no matter what I do, I'm, I'm, I'm just taking it as me not being able to uh, uh, peg it out properly or it's not true down the uh, ridge line or whatever, but ladies and gents, but one thing's certainly missing. See about here, you need another 10 peg without shadow of a doubt uh, to go in. I reckon that would pull that out a lot more. Uh, that is very much stretched along there and stretched down there. Um, if I get this side taut, the other one goes limp. So uh, at this at the moment, it's not, it's not a criticism of the tent, it's probably more mine not willing to trigger back with it anymore but yes ladies and gents love the material uh, it's got a built, built in floor which is always nice I've uh, thrown a bit of a tarp an old tarp under there just to keep it um, sort of clean because I, I may be just running a few bits through my machine uh, but certainly there we need another tie out point without a shadow of a doubt it's nice that it's got three along the top so it gives some rigidity to it you can, I'm going to get inside and have a look but your, your tent poles, or sorry, your um, walking sticks are supposed to be designed to go on the inside. Now, if there's a built-in ground sheet, I'm not sure exactly sure how that's going to work. I haven't brought it out, because this is how I would want it. And the other guy, he's put tent poles in it. So, uh, I'll just give you a, a different viewpoint on that. Again, what we see here, and I'll bring it up closer, is a window. It's got three bits of Velcro, and it's got mesh there. Oh, I'm not sure that's going to... Um, the integrity water because uh, there's only three bits of velcro holding it down i will bring in closer for that uh, but as you see you get a sort of a, a an odd triangle shape that's not meant to go down vertically but because there is the front the rest of that part isn't part of the inner tent that's where that is the inner tent there ladies and gents so i hope my fingers coming up correctly um i don't want to put any more tension on these to pull it out anymore um because the sewing, I've got to be honest ladies and gents, I say prototype, I'm not impressed with the sewing. Uh, it's no use me bringing something out and saying it's all Yankee Doodle uh, when it needs further work. And even even on that, that sewing there, that sewing there, um, it's, uh, it's bunching up. I know from being a sewer upper myself that this needs the bottom tensioner done a bit more. But yeah, um, Loving the material, it's a lightweight baker tent, and what I'm calling it a baker tent is you'll see why it's got a vestibule that opens up one side, opens completely up. But that, this thing here, um, the guy who, um, the only one I've seen, and I'd already bought the thing, um, it was in like Hong Kong, a really, really hot and humid atmosphere, so perhaps he, he would need them, but I wouldn't think we'd need these here in England. But I'll bring you back just to show you, it's, it's, it's not a brilliant design, it probably needs so certainly changing. But I'll bring you back and show you the, uh, the, uh, the little windows in it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you see, there's uh, three bits of Velcro there. Um, and there's nothing, you know, if you was to pull this out, it would just do that. And as you can see there, what was going to come straight off the tent, straight in there. Uh, see, when you pull this out, it's only the one tab. Uh, it just needs to be have a lot more thinking about. Either not be there, or a lot more thinking about. And it's all single stitching you see along that line there so I'm not really sure that's gonna do anybody any good there uh, a few bits of velcro to hold it down but again for me even there see there's not much um, distance between there and there for water ingress I just wouldn't have that there to be perfectly honest and I wouldn't have thought I need it because uh, it's got the biggest uh, air vent uh, through the mosquito neck which is on the other side my dog Mr Baldrick, so was at home that way, be in there like a shot. Uh, yeah, I just couldn't really get rid of that kink of the, the material. Um, but yeah, there's one of them on the other side, and I, I, I actually don't think they're uh, unnecessary time underneath the machine, and I don't think they'll add to ventilation, but what they will do uh, is let water into a tent, I would imagine. 
uh, let's say, it needs to come out a lot more, come out a lot more. Uh, again, do you know we have that bit of rigid plastic and it's like a, a tent shape? Um, that's what needs to be done now, I think. Uh, Mr. Hands, Mr. One Tiger, and uh, or get rid of it. Just don't have it. That's less time on the machine. Uh, keeps the cost down. Cost isn't a problem with this, but I think you've got a brilliant design here. Um, if you modified this, it would be a great seller here in the UK because uh, it is like a, the baker tent which everybody wants, it is very lightweight, it's good materials, uh, quality control on the show and I'll just show you a few bits in a moment because ladies and gents it's not um, me to put something up and go oh start raving about something when it needs improving and it just needs improving, I'm loving this tent, I'm not knocking it but it does need improvement uh, before I would say <laughs> You know, I bought it straight off the site, so it's not like a prototype prototype, but I think there's some, if, if the uh, person who designed this or makes this tent uh, was to go back, uh, well, I'll take note of a few things, I reckon you can have a right good seller on your hand, especially if you can keep the price point under 100 quid. Uh, I know, I was looking at the DD one, because uh, it's not dissimilar, uh, it's not a direct copy, because the DD one has the old vegetables that come out. Um, but the quality, um, there is a big differential, you know, big big problem with the quality between the two. Uh, DD spot on and this one just needs some work. Right, ladies and gents, as you know, I do modify tents and at times make my own. But here we see, uh, it's not mega, mega stretched out. But here we see some of the, 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 the actual cotton line. See, right where my thumb is there, cotton line starting to come undone. Like the material, nice lightweight webbing. Um, I would always put a piece of shock cord around there, just so it gives it a little bit of a, you know, tension. But already, ladies and gents, I can see the stitching coming undone. It. It's uh, all the stitches, the sort of seams are, are sealed on the inside. Um, but again, that just needs to. There's something wrong there. I've not worked out what that is yet. But again, you've got that another window on the side. I, I actually think for the UK, um, it's, it's no good to man the beast. Uh, I haven't even opened that, that one, and I think water coming down will come in now. I'll see if that's seemed, sealed on the inside, but there's so little space between there and there, water will come down and actually get into your netting. Yeah, uh, and when you pull it out, it, you could guy line it out, I suppose, but then the two sides fold in, but then water will come straight down, and either side of the top will go straight into the tent, so I'm, I'm not just sure what that's all about. Okay, the one tent peg there, the one there, and that's the inner, inner of the tent because this is just like a little vestibule here, and there's the other one to pull it out. But down the sides, ladies and gents, and you know, I'm just let your eyes be your guide. Um, people who watch my channel all been out in the wilds and so forth, but uh, again, not knocking it because it's easily fixable. Okay, easily fixable. I'm, I'm, I'm loving this tent, but again, uh, see there. See this little flap, that's the rain, that is the zip, okay, it's a robust enough zip I'm, I'm presuming there, but this flap definitely needs to come over, it needs to be about that wide, and needs to be velcro here, that's sealed on the inside, so you need a big sort of um, 3 inch, 4 inch velcro there, at the bottom and at the bottom, this needs to come right over and cover the zip, because as you see, I'm not even touching it ladies and gents, and as you see, what will hit here and it'll eventually go through the zip. Um, and again, just needs to be sorted that, uh, and if need be, I'll, I'm loving this tent, if need be, I will sew, because uh, it, it won't, if I sew something to that, it won't intact the integrity of it, but then bring that right over, and if necessary, I'll either put some velcro on there, or just peg it down, but that's just not adequate to cover that zip, to be honest, it needs to be, that's three quarters of an inch, Baldrick, uh, it needs to be, come over and give that a good coverage. But yeah, I'm going to bring you back in a moment now, because this sh show you why I do love this tent, and I think it will be a big seller, especially here in the UK, because uh, that side opens up completely, uh, Baker tent style. I mean, there's a lot of people uh, like that sort of design, certainly from the feedback uh, that I get on the designs I do. Um, yeah, we, we all don't want to get on our hands and knees and start crawling in that little side. So I'll bring you back on that, ladies and gents. Right, ladies and gents. Uh, before I actually start unzipping this, I'll just bring it down on another tent pull-out point, and you can quite clearly see there, uh, there's a little bit of quality control issue. That shouldn't be happening. Again, I'll bring it right in. It's just pulling away. 
I've only set the tent up, this is the first time on it as well, it's not like it's had eight months of uh, hard rigorous use. There's the other one there. I'll go around and check them all, but there's two, there's one on this side, one on that side. Uh, Mr Hands, you need to sort of kind of sort that out, because that's, that's, you know, even on a 65 pound tent, that's not, uh, that's not good. As we see there, ladies and gents, that's just uh, another quality control issue, the bubbling up of the stitches there. See, when you've done that there, when you pull that out, that's just pulling against the stitches. That's just completely sewed on. That should, this, this end should be hanging off and sewed, so you're pulling down. Not when you peg that out, ladies and gents, it's just going to be ripping the stitching. And that's what's happened here. These things have been sewn on that way, when they should be sewn on so the, the tab comes off this way. Right, um, yeah, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do now, because I've just lost my tab for that one. And uh, as we can see here, ladies and gents, this is the one that's integral to the tent and not just the vestibule at the front. And the old stitching's going there as well. So, yeah, um, I'll show you what it's like anyway, but at this point I don't think this is uh, probably fit for production or, or selling. And again, here we can see, if you can see the zip, what was going to get to it and what was going to get inside of it. Ah, I'm really glad. I love the tent, I love the design. But everything else is fixable, it's just quality control issues. Yeah, ladies and gents, uh, obviously has a zip, this nice smooth zip, nothing wrong with that, nice to see one of them waterproof ones on it, but you just, that flap's just totally, totally not adequate ladies and gents, to go over there, that needs to go over, and as I said, come round to that side there, roughly where my uh, end of my finger is, it needs to go over and completely seal that. That's okay. Um, I'm going to flick that over, both sides open up and I'll bring you back for that. But ladies and gents, this is why um, I'm not going to give up on this, just need some uh, quality control and uh, yeah, improving. Um, it may put the cost up a little bit more, but for the price point of 65 quid, I think people would happily pay 100 quid. If I'd have paid 100 quid for this and everything I'm bringing out was put right, then I'd be a happy little puppy. So rather than just saying it's a load of old tosh, it just needs improving. I love the design of the tent, and as you can see now, that side has just been thrown over. Obviously, it can come out and you can peg it out, um, you know, with a couple of poles, a uh, baker tent style. Uh, and that's very much why um, I pulled the trigger on this quite quickly. Um, and I've only found one review on it, and there's, the, I'll, I'll stick the link to that guy's, uh, if I can find it again, his uh, YouTube video on it, and uh, give you his views as well, because it's not just me. But yeah, so whoever made this cracking little tent, you've got a real money maker here, I think, but you've just got to improve your quality control. Go back and, uh, yeah, uh, quality control is a big issue and uh, a little bit more redesigning on this. But again, that thing will roll up and it will go underneath uh, with the two toggles and the same when I open up the zip, which is the mosquito net. Now, when that's down, ladies and gents, that's the cover to the front. Excellent, and you've got all that ventilation space there, so I don't know why. I mean, uh, you can see the air gaps there. Uh, them windows, as far as I, can, I, I think, are just not, they're not fish nor fowl, so they're not serving any useful purpose, but I definitely see water getting in that tank because the window's there. Uh, this is the biggest ventilation slot you've got, because as you can see, when the tent flap comes down, it's nowhere near that. Um, yeah, so, and again, ladies and gents, I've, I've paid good money for this, so I've paid me money, I should mention that. And again, as we come down, see the stitch in there? Again, it's just quality control, isn't it? It's not, I don't expect things to be like perfect, perfect, because I ain't paying, you know, two or three hundred pounds for this, but I expect it to be uh, fit for purpose, ladies and gents, and certainly with one of the tabs being pulled out already. Because the way they've been sold is the wrong way around, and that's why that's pulling on that stitching. Uh, I'll, I'll take all these off and I'll modify them. So if I do bring this out again, I'll show you what I mean. But yeah, what a sh I'm a little bit gay because well, I'm still enthusiastic. It's still usable. Um, I always like to see stuff being new stuff being brought out in the market. Like I say, I pulled the trigger on this one. It it just needs a bit of sort of outing, to be honest. I'm probably the person to do it. So anyway, I'll get this opened up and show you show you the inside. 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, so, this, this is a, a very good way of explaining what I'm talking about with these pull-out tabs. And this applies to all the pull-out tabs on it. Now, when it's sewed like that, okay, and the pull-out tabs all around the tent are, uh, it should be literally turned round and sewed so it comes downwards. Because with any pull-out tab, and I've had one go, so, I, I, you know, it's fair enough, I know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm pulling on the stitching. And that's going to pull down, and I can uh, already see it going. So... It's really simple with this, it just needs to be turned round and sewed so it hangs down. Because it's sewed so it hangs up. It still works, but like all the pull-outs on this, um, somebody's just sewed them on. They all work. Well, they don't actually, because one's come off, hasn't it? <laughs> I'll try not to be too demanding. But if that was a, 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 the same as the peg-outs that go into the ground with your peg, already, you see I'm, I'm pulling on the stitch in there, mate. Can you just come in a little bit yeah, closer see. and do that, yeah? on there, it's just kind of need to be turned around and flicked. Um, nice zips, really nice, easy flowing zips, I hate zips that, that catch and that. Um, and when we're, we're looking inside, perfectly adequate for one person and, and their... Um, and their dog? Yeah, and their dog or their Bergen. But like I say, um, down traffic where I need it, mate. Needs a pull out point somewhat there. About there, mate, so you can pull it out. Yeah. And it needs one down at the bottom as well. Because all of these tent pull, get, um, tent pull out things sewn on wrong. See that's sewn on so it's going upwards. It needs to be turned round and so it's pulled downwards. Because all I'm doing is pulling on the stitching rather than the stitching holding it. But yeah, so we can see that, ladies and gents. With them all, like I say, the first time I put it up, one's come off, but that's very disappointing, I must admit. Order it. But yeah, definitely needs a, a pull out point there. And one up half the middle. That gives you a lot more room inside the tent. Uh, that could actually do that, just a pull out point to come out there. So whoever's making the tent, certainly not too hard to do. People will pay a bit less money. You can do everything I'd say. Um, get rid of your, your windows, which are they're, they're no good. They're not good, no good to man the beast. I mean, what's that all about? I don't even know it's sealed on the inside. And there's so little hangover here that even if you had that down and that there, uh, I think it's just it's increasing the production cost, the time on the machine, and you're just letting it's not serving any really useful purpose. To be perfectly honest, uh, you know there's I think we'll have ones that come round in the conical and have that bit of um, nylon in there that you can pull out. Fair enough, if you're going to do that. But that's just not good, not good at all. Um, a bit, I like it. I love the tent. Love it. Um, and I think it's a, it would be a good seller. But it just needs a few points there. So, here you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'll come out as, you know, say something. But uh, I don't want to knock the tent. Just bringing a new tent onto the market. Uh, Baker tent. I think a lot of the guys will like this, but it needs need, need some work on it. You know, at this point, I'm quite happy to send it back because it's, you know, just because I can sew, don't mean I can repair this. But I just don't think it's. Doesn't matter what it costs. It's got to be fit for purpose, Mike, hasn't it? You know? yeah. And I think if this is a prototype, pr new being brought onto the market, uh, there's a few things you do. You wouldn't in take the windows away. And you probably wouldn't have no more production costs putting that pull out on there, sorting sort out every single pull out on it. Um, yeah, but kind of disappointed. You know, that's, that's the way it goes. You can't always be uh, good and happy. But loving the old uh, concept. I will get in there because I'm not worried about it. My boots getting dirty. I'm not going to show what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, so yeah, I'm a, a six foot lad. See what see, this is touching. So that needs to, there needs to be a pull out on that. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Bolt. Mr. Bolt. One man and his dog tent. Come on in, get behind me. Because yeah. the last one you'd want is all that, the dew on there, or from the breath, and it's coming down and touching the sleeping bag and that. Yeah, that needs a pull out. Yeah. Yeah, and just, I, I can see on the inside. No, Mike, this, even, even in here, mate, this mess is just, it's hacked on, it's not even sewn on, it's, it's like proper quality control, sh absolutely shot to bits, mate, you know, and it, it's not, it's not the, as I say, the money you pay, you pay for what you get, but 
you know, um, yeah, quality control is uh, proper shot the bits on this. Uh, I would expect to, no, that's very, very disappointing on the inside of it, mate. It's not even um, seam sealed at the top, so we'll, we'll right straight down through that uh, stitching there anyway. This is all on the inside. It is seam sealed all the way along here, yeah. But where this tie out here is, it's really putting a lot of pressure on there, so I would see water ingress coming in there as well at some point. What do you, what do you reckon, Mr. Mr. Baldrick? Sure. That's a tenth of that old lodge. <laughs> but yeah, well, you know. Win some, you lose some. Um, I really, well, I really do hope, seriously, um, I love this designer tent. I think it'd sell a lot of them. You've just got to take this back to the uh, manufacturers, mate, rethink it, uh, come back. You don't have to take my ideas on boards, but, you know, I've, I've been using tents for many a good year, and I make stuff and so forth, so I might see some see things that other people might miss, if that makes sense, mate. Uh, certainly with them tie outs, they're sewing up, and they want to be sewed down. Because uh, when it's sewed up, you're just pulling it and pulling it along the stitch line. Um, that's easily fixable. Get rid of these windows, they're, they're not good for man the beast. Uh, tie out at the back. And quality control, mate. And you know, yeah, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I couldn't use this in the field. Yeah, mm. but um, if, if them things were sorted out and they're fairly simple, mate, then I would. And I'd have been well happy with it. Because I think people with a tent, if you can keep a tent under the 100, 100 pound mark, you know, I, I, I like to pay 35 pounds for a tent, but you know, you get what you pay for. Yeah. Um, uh, and this was 65, delivered from Amazon very quickly. <sighs> Disappointed. Here we are, ladies and gents. Um, the first point, I hope you can see some pinholes out. I can see several. I'm hoping they show out, yeah. That is air coming through. Um, that is a stitching being pulled. And water will run down that ridge line onto that piece of nylon and come straight down, and straight down here. That is the ridge line on the inside. Uh, yeah, uh, I can see daylight through that, and I can, yeah, bang out, bang naughty. The seals are all seen, but it's just going to come in through your stitch line. And this thing is, well, it's just, you want to keep banging on about it, ladies and gents. It's just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> something else, um, I slapped this up with a ridge line. Um, that's for primarily how I take to use it. But there was nothing inside of here, literally. There we go, ladies and gents. There was nothing inside there. That's a little reinforcer sewn on, but the stitching's going to give way right there, and I can see uh, air out. You'd have to put your pole just there, and there's nothing to stop it coming forward. There's, there, there was no pole attachment or location or securing device on the inside of this, so you can put it up with your, uh, your walking poles, but... Uh, where is that little, there's always a little, you know, slot where it will go in and it comes down. Obviously, I know you've got a seal seam your bottom, but it'll just be, you just like, kind of put it in there and hope it stayed there. If the wind pushed it, you, you, you know, there's nothing um, to keep your pole in place. So I just can't see this um, working in any way with... Uh, your walking poles there's nothing at the bottom okay even if you jammed it up against the floor which is putting pressure on your material which you don't particularly want to do as the tent pole came up you just there's nothing to keep it in there so the tent blows and it's just going to be all over the place and you, i don't think you could i'm going to do that i'll do it just to see as is as subtle would that actually keep a, it up for any way because the only thing that's just cured that tent pole would be a guy line coming off there down to the floor and that's just not sufficient at all.